What's the deal, y'all? Love we back with another video. We got the John Jones Bones original board film documentary by no other than Joseph Vincent, man. Y'all seem to like when I do these uh, either Vote Sport or Joseph Vincent videos. Y'all seem to enjoy these, so we got another one, man. Uh, let's get into it. Y'all know I know who John Jones is. I rock with John Jones and the UFC, all that, so let's run it up. Uh, if y'all got other videos, boxing, UFC, bare whatever, bare knuckle, uh, dwarf boxing. <laughs> Throw it in the comments, man. That's it. Hit that like button if you like the video, too. We just passed 90K. Appreciate all y'all. Much love. You know what I'm saying? From the heart. And uh, we're on our way to 100K, man. So make sure if you're not subscribed, subscribe to be a part of that first 100K. Or tell a friend. You rocking my channel, man. Tell a friend. Tell a couple of the homies, man. And uh, let's get there. Hopefully this year, man. But let's get into this video. And I started watching UFC because he was larger than life. He was so dominant. He came out very low, almost yeah. crawling at him. Different. And, and he's going to do that again. Yeah. Just for a second. And so, yeah. wow, what a powerful leg kick. Look, that look, was. look. <laughs> it was one leg kick. Bro leg was like, all right. I mean, my, my knee doesn't age. I'm, I'm, I'm 47. <laughs> I walked into this fight 28. I am, my, my knee 47 right now after that kick, bro. John Bones Jones. Oh! Again they battle in another big knee. Considered by many to be the greatest fighter to ever do it. He's got a choke. Trying to choke him out. He's standing right against here. Yoda's sure. in trouble. Here's John Jones remains. Sleep. The UFC <laughs> light heavyweight. Hey, bro, what happened, dog? Sleep. <laughs> You was just about to sleep. <laughs> hey, man, you got to get up for the decision. Sleep. <laughs> wow. Chokes Leota Machida completely unconscious. Yep. Jones. Jones. Sleep edition. John was an elite wrestler and went on to become a national JUCO champion. But I dedicated my life to to wrestling wholeheartedly wrestling when his girlfriend got wrestling. pregnant john faced a difficult decision suddenly i have a kid on the way and uh suddenly my full scholarship to iowa state was not there anymore he left college walked into the bomb squad mma gym and began his journey into mixed martial arts the very first day that he trained mixed martial arts he did everybody in the gym was like this guy is now. Working as a bouncer while trying to support a new family, Jones couldn't waste any time. Boy, in a gym with it. Within weeks, he scheduled his first professional fight. I had been training for about two months. And uh, I took my first fight. Well, Mark, we've got some light heavyweight action. The pro debuting John Jones fighting out of the bomb squad. We got some big boys tonight. So like some 80 shit. Here. And Johnny Jones, a kickboxer and a wrestler, big fan of Anderson oh, got him. Silva. He won in less than two minutes. Yeah. Damn. Jones with a suplex. Osbix. He flipped him me, over. Now he's training some me, left hands me, down me. onto Bernard. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, he beating the shit out of this dude. Bernard is out. A first round TKO by John Jones. Mark, is that impressive or what? Man, he started whooping him like they just got into a fight at the bar or something. That was like a bar fight. He just started kicking the shit out. <laughs> oh, shit. He whooping his ass. And John has two brothers that are elite NFL athletes. Pro I mean, bro, he comes from fantastic genetics. I had no time with that. the ball, you know, so they had me a defensive line next to Arthur, a guy who's big and fit to be a de defensive lineman. And I'm just skinny and next to him, and that's how I got the nickname Bones. And Jones fought his second fight just one week after his first. Oh, hello, Schmink, Schmink, Schmink. He rattled off win after win, fighting six times in 12 weeks. I made it to the UFC after only nine months of MMA training. So, I mean, 
which is really yeah they call him bones because he putting everybody to sleep <laughs> this is this john jones all sleep edition today unheard of yeah it was immediately clear johnny bones was one of the most unique athletes to ever enter the fight game yeah I, I... heavyweight matchup and here we go at 21 years old Ooh, that's he nasty. made his UFC debut. That's a spinning back kick. All right, somewhere in the middle of what I thought. Get your ass down. Oh, the switch knee. Oh my God. He's just taking a two goose mount. Switched and brought the left knee. Johnny Bones The victory brought a realization for John that he was able to compete at the highest levels in MMA. And then there's this other guy, John Jones. He's, uh, he's, I don't know. Uh, he's like a wrestler, but he's really skinny. He's young, he's green. And I'm yeah, like, I... oh man, I'll, I'll fight that skinny bitch, John Jones. Yeah, probably made the wrong decision on that one. There it is, that's what I'm talking about. John's wrestling experience is obvious in his takedowns. His takedowns are, are yeah, nasty. Wrestling, jiu-jitsu, Muay Thai, athletic, young. Shoot. Chris Benoit edition. But it is Jones striking that captured the attention of fans everywhere. Me. That first yeah, round. you don't even know where you're going, bro. <laughs> yeah, no idea where you at. It's good, man. He displays remarkable creativity in the cage. Ooh, right in your neck. We are headed once again to the judges' scorecards. Playing the winner by unanimous decision, Johnny Bones. Johnny journey that I'm on can go as far as I take it and uh, only I can mess it up. In his 10th pro fight, John Jones first hint of Just look at that reach difference, bro. 84 and a half inch reach. He damned... Come on, bro. Come on, bro. What you... 22 versus 33, 6 wide versus 6 4, 2 0. Oh, I don't care, dog. You look at that just on paper, you like, man, I don't know. <laughs> you might be, you better knock this fool out, dog, because otherwise, you're going to burn out faster, probably. You ain't got the reach. You ain't got the height. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. The controversy surfaced. Bones Jones! Paper, that don't look good. He demolished Matt Hamill. However... A series of illegal elbows earned him a DQ. Nice trip. There's some Greco. His timing is so good. Now, is there a part of you that feels like you never Ooh, lost? We can't do that. One disqualification well, loss. John is completely undefeated. Yeah. He only has that one loss to Matt Hamill, which is a disqualification. Can't in a fight do that. He's totally dominant. Big elbows. No, you can't do 12 to 6. Stand up. The up to down elbow from okay. 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock is that. illegal. So you make an honest mistake and, and throw an illegal elbow and, and have everything take crash and burn. You know? Due to intentional elbows, there's been a disqualification of Johnny Bones Jones. Therefore, the winner is Matt Hamill. It, uh, I don't. I don't beat myself up about it. You know, now I know the rules, and you would never see me going out that way ever again. He amped up his training. You honestly can't be mad about that. Like, if you a John Jones fan watching this, you can't even be mad about that, bro. You can kill somebody. Like that. <laughs> that's why I like. That's why I like. I think what what else is illegal? I know boxing better than USC, but like, like if somebody's on the ground, you can't just kick them in the dome. You know what I mean? Like, you can't just straight leg just bow right <laughs> shit when they on the ground like there's a certain shit that can like damn near kill somebody that's like yeah you know what i mean you gotta have some sort you gotta have some sort of limits to it so you can't be mad about it he was young you know what i mean it happens and i trained in albuquerque new mexico at high elevation i trained at six thousand feet above sea level
it's not often that guys Ooh. like this come along. You know, spinning not a, back kicks, like man. Jones. There's not a lot of them around. He's just got super athlete family. They're just, and he's huge. That, that so size big. difference he's is so big. big. In his first fight back from the controversial loss, Jones made a statement. Is he gonna get it? Got him. Guard again. There you go. There you go. Side to side. He's the best I've ever seen. He's the best in the world. Oh, he would've been ass. Oh my God! Get him off him. Get him off him, ref. Serious, serious talent. Um, it, even just then, when he just stood up again, he's huge. I mean, he's so big. He's a young guy. He's, he's only going to get better, and he's very motivated and very smart. The Ultimate Fighter, season eight. Ryan winner, Bader. Ryan yeah, Ryan Bader. Dunn. Ultimate Fighter. Bader. Who will truly become the next big thing? Will it be Bader, or will it be Joe? Look at Young Herb Dean, man. Next up, a fight to determine who would contend for the title against Shogun. Woo! High kick by Jones. Constant Equilibrium offensive already assault. Fucked up. Looking for the shot. Stuffed easily. Catching fighters off guard with moves no one else was willing to try. He stepped right over and got his back. And another benefit of having 84 inch reach on, on his arms is he can get his fingers together when most people can't. Yeah, he went right for a straight guillotine here. Tightened it right up, twisted it. Oh, he got, got him. him. Got him. John Jones jumps out Ryan Bader. Wow. John Jones' first fight in the UFC at, for a title, he's fighting Mauricio Shogun Hua, who is a legend. Yeah, yeah the biggest fight of my life. If I wasn't meant to be here, I wouldn't be here. Undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Shogun and Jones, our main event of the evening. Bro, even when I did, I didn't even watch UFC back then, and I knew who Shogun was, man. He, that brother is definitely a legend. For the Light Heavyweight title. <laughs> the Shogun was a legend of UFC. Shogun trying to get back to the feet, but he's giving up his back in the process. Yeah, you know that hurt. Yo, me, 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 he's hurt, me. Mike. He's wobbled. Me. Johnny Bones brutalized the defending champion. Another side kick to the knee. Snap your leg back, bro. That teeth to the face. Creative combinations, athletic spinning elbows, and kicks. Oh! Spinning back elbow. Fighting Johnny Bones is a nightmare. Stuff like that, he's just so creative in there. Relentless. The title win made Jones the youngest champion in UFC history. Me. Good body shot. Yeah. Oh. John Jones is the youngest champion in UFC history. Wow. And it wasn't even a struggle. I ain't gonna lie, John Jones is like the Michael Jordan of UFC. I never thought I'd say some shit like that, but that's definitely <laughs> he definitely the Michael Jordan of UFC, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like just the creativity, the way he fought, the style that he that came with it, like the athleticism that came with it. That you just you seen, but you ain't seen like that. You know what I mean? That's why I gotta say he like he damn near like the Michael Jordan of UFC. Now, there's people you can argue are like the Kobe Bryants, the Shaqs, you know, uh, 
like in Ganu, you could say it was like a Shaq at UFC, just dominant. Or uh, Pereira, dude that just fought recently. Um, there's dudes you could argue that are like more like the Shaqs of UFC or the Kobe's or the LeBron's, whatever you want to say, you know what I mean? The Steph Curry's. Like, Demetrius Johnson, you could argue, was like the Steph Curry or even like a Magic Johnson of UFC. Uh, just because of the fucking flying arm bar, which is crazy. That's like some Showtime Lakers shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Three-point Steph, I don't know. You know what I mean? But you could make comparisons. But I'll say John Jones is like MJ. Right. And he might be the greatest talent that we've ever seen in the UFC. Nice. With the bands, though. He's a freak, man. He's yeah. a real freak. He, he most definitely is. to watch him train because he's just super lasered in and focused. For his first title defense, oh, he took Rampage. on another legend of the octagon. Rampage! Rampage Jackson. One of the most intimidating fighters ever. And he's he, the best ever at controlling distance. He does the finger at the finger range. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, pokey. <laughs> the pokey range. There's that spinning elbow. spinning elbow. Just like against Shogun. Perfectly timed. Rampage had never been hey, like that in his historic career. Like, what you what you supposed chokes to do? Out, rampage, chokes out. Just, just smash what you supposed everybody. to do with him, bro? Rampage has not been stopped in the octagon. That's what Jones wants to be the first man in the UFC to stop Quentin Rampage Jack. Against Rashad Evans, Jones was pitted against one of his longtime friends and training partners. Rashad Evans! Yeah, Rashad Evans wasn't no chump yes. either, man. It's so intense right now. You ready? ready? Rashad ready. Evans was like Here that. Here we go! So far, John is controlling the center of the octagon. Head kick! Good, good head kick. Good head kick. Head kick by Rashad Evans. Jones might be in trouble. I felt like this was a pioneering performance with arranged elbows from John Jones. Oh! Oh! That is a brilliant move. He's gonna get he hurt him. He's with that elbow. Closing in his Jones. Jones used his elbows to devastating effect. But Rashad Evans, there was no way he could have trained for this kind of offensive. No one in Rashad Evans' gym is going to be fighting like John Jones in this range. Exactly. With elbows over you the ain't top. got nothing, no answers for him, bro. It's not just the long limbs, it's the way he delivers it. <laughs> the left hook. Clearly, John Jones has defended his title against another former UFC light heavyweight champion. This ain't even fair, bro. Oh, Vitor, Vitor Belfort. It's Barbie, barbecue chicken. Belfort got hold of Jones' arm, hyperextending it in a perfect arm bar. Even though Vitor almost snapped that arm in half. That was crazy. Oh, arm bar! He's got it! He has cash it right here! Jones allowed his arm Boom. to pop out of socket. You what an animal John is. That yeah. He didn't tap. He just let his arm get jacked. And he might have popped his arm. We don't know how, how John's arm is right now. And then wound up tapping Vitor the next round. 
it's, it's amazing Back up. when you consider the fact this kid didn't grow up with a striking background. It's crazy. Yeah. John is a, he's not just talented. Side kick to the body. He heard him. He heard him. He heard him. Yeah, we yeah, like that. Side kick to the body. And now the axe kick the same way. Not Charles. good for Belfort. He's, got, he's fucked trying him, to get him ribs up. He just needs to secure the right arm. He submitted Belfort. Now he's going for Kimura. It is all over. That's it. John Jones remains the UFC light heavyweight champion. Good job, bro. <laughs> yeah. just got incredible. His ability. Bro's arm snapped out of out of place, bro. Came back in and almost and almost just just come, ripped ripped Belfer's arm almost off, bro. You gotta think about the composure he got too, because if he wanted to, he could have just been on some, just, I'm mad. You know what I mean? Like, think about that. Like, you just got your arm ripped off. Now you gotta keep, you're gonna keep fighting. You didn't tap. Now you got the chance to just rip his arm off, and you still don't do it. You could have just went all the way and just snapped his whole shit. Which isn't good. You're not supposed to do that. You know what I'm saying? But he could have did that just off of anger. You know? <laughs> Revenge, whatever you want to call it, you know, so like even to keep that composure like bro, it's different, bro. You, there ain't no answers, bro. I don't know what DC thought he was gonna do <laughs> I don't know what DC Ability thought to was gonna happen, bro John Jones Chael Sonnen And here we go He's so comfortable in world championship fights. He's had nothing but world championship That's fights. That's all he knows? Yeah That's a big by Jones Main event, and you're like, holy shit, this is the big one. John's like, this is a fight. It's Another day in like the office. Oh my god, ref. Jones has finished Shale Sonnen. The, and they get to this point where you're, you have to be so much better to beat them. Fame and celebrity are powerful drugs. I had this crazy thing that I would do where I would Johnny party Hendrix. one week before every fight. And I did it throughout my whole career. I party with John, but when he was partying, I would see him at the bar in Ithaca, and it would be like a couple weeks before his fight, and this guy would be out there shots. And I was winning, and, and it was starting to feel effortless. As Bones rose to the highest levels of his sport, his focus waned. We saw that in the Gustafson fight. I mean, he wasn't in shape for that fight at all. Yeah. He, they said he was yeah, barely I mean, training. I did a lot of wild stuff leading up to the fight. I definitely didn't give it my all. As far as partying and yeah, not man, sleeping right. Mainly partying, and drinking, yes. and drinking, staying up all night. You asked me earlier, Joe, is anybody else perfect with their takedown defense? And yes, that man, John Jones, the champion, had stopped all 16 of his opponent's takedown attempts. In what turned out to be the fight of the year, Jones took on Swedish fighter Alexander Gustafsson. I don't remember this fight. The UFC. Incredible. Right back up. And there's a nasty elbow by John. Oh, them elbows right crazy. Right at the end of the round. Get some of that off. Get have to take little some little of that off. Let's go. Back. Yeah, get all that toe jam. All the toe jam, dog. Slips in with the right again. Oh. The fight continued to go back and forth. Just past mm. the midway point of this championship fight. Kicks the body, hard kick. That oh, good body kick, good body kick. He ain't like that. He ain't like that. Man, all in the neck. And John Jones might have to take Gustafson out to retain his title. They are on their feet here inside Air Canada Center. Oh, right on the dome piece. He's just a natural born fighter. He just knows how to fight. Oh, he busted his head open. Jones won the unanimous decision. Big head kick. So Gustafson just ate it. Yep. Unanimous decision, and still the undisputed USC light heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones. John. A 
super fight against undefeated Daniel Cormier was set. That these people cheer for me and they don't even like me, they just hate John The Jones. bad blood between the two fighters burst over in a pre-fight presser. Is there any chance though, one week from today, that you guys end up earning each other's respect in the octagon and can squash this between you? John, I'd ask you. Yo, you saw that show? I remember that too, that was a crazy time. But uh, there's a saying. It's mostly in boxing. It's not necessarily the same in the UFC. But typically, whoever pushes, right, at the press conference or at the face-off, whatever you want to call it, whoever pushes first is usually the one who loses the fight. It, it's not every time, but it's like a good 80, 70, 80 percent, something like that, bro. Whoever pushes first usually loses the fight. Don't happen. It don't happen all the time, but it happened a lot. <laughs> UFC is a little different. I don't know. I can't. I, I don't. I'm not as well versed in it enough to know for sure. But that's a hundred percent a thing in boxing. You push first at the face off. You typically lose the fight. You that first. DC. <laughs> Daniel. I have no desire to be friends with. Costing him. Jones fifty thousand dollars in fines for the brawl. I, I dislike him because he hates me. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, we fought two years ago. Sure. I beat him mm -hmm. fair and square, you know, no matter what he tries to blame the, the win on. <laughs> that jump is crazy. The first time we were both undefeated, and I, I was just, I didn't know if he had that it back there. When you, when you have an undefeated athlete, you don't know what, you know, if there's that chosen one, mm -hmm. you know, and I, mm -hmm. I thought maybe he could be the guy. I've always felt like I was the guy. But despite the emotions of the fight, Jones handled his business. And um, now that I've beaten him and I've proven that he isn't the chosen one. Good straight left by John. With the way he utilized yeah, go ahead. Exactly talk about. So it's kicks by John. I feel like there's really nothing special about him. Like, John Jones is playing for keeps. He's trying to damage these people. He's, he's taking pig slips. He's stealing the cars. Defeating DC on a unanimous decision. This ultimate grudge match goes the distance. Perhaps maybe all the bad blood has not won. <laughs> After the fight, Jones tested positive for cocaine metabolites. Then light heavyweight champion John Bones Jones was preparing for another title defense when he crashed into a car in southeast Albuquerque. Yeah, there was a car accident right here on Wonsboro and Southern Boulevard. That's right. The guy just hopped off into a yard. The guy that's getting out of the SUV... A few months later... He was involved in a hit and run. Former UFC light heavyweight champion. A hit and run John is crazy. Bones Jones avoids jail time. The Albuquerque fighter cut a deal with prosecutors today for a hit and run crash. It was, it was humiliating and some. Hey, no great athlete is without trials and tribulations. Unless you're LeBron James or some shit. I don't know. Though, but I mean, look, look at Kobe. He had his things. He had that, that court case going on. Look at Jordan. The gambling, the pops. You know, he had his stuff going on. Mike Tyson. We are we all know about Mike Tyson. If you watching this video, you already know. You know what I mean? All the grace come with something, man. Somewhat of a bottom for me and, and I'm ready to, to snap it into high gear. He was stripped of his title. The judge is allowing Jones to travel out of state for work and promotional appearances, but the UFC has not decided when he will be allowed to fight again. A true case of no one being able to defeat him other than himself. Yeah, After being goes. stripped of his lightweight title and suspended for a year, John Jones returned. Let's go! Looking way healthier. Jones. Ovens St. Drew. Fight scheduled for five. When you're the most gifted athlete ever to fight, spectacular spinning elbows, face kicks, Ooh, and leaping knees see that coming. are routine. Oh, shit. He's gonna get taken down. Oh, I believe I could fly. <laughs> side control, strong side control. Get 
Please. And again. That was one of the heaviest takedowns we've ever felt. I felt that through the bottom of the soles of my feet. Yo, that's been in back kick. The fight secured him the interim title and lined up a rematch with DC. Unfortunately, he tested positive again. John Jones yep. has been suspended for one year after testing positive for a banned substance. I want to first uh, start by apologizing to, to um, all the fans. Now, that's what hurt him more than anything. That was like, come on, bro. Come on, dog. You you off the Snow White, bro, whatever, dog. You partying too much, you off the Snow White. It is what it is. You, you know what I mean? You got money, you doing too much. But doing that and testing positive for, for band performance enhanced PEDs, bro. Against Comey, DC, bro, you already beat on them, bro. Why you doing this, bro? You know DC, you, you know how DC get, like, you know what I mean? He cool and all that, but I ain't really like him when he was going through that rivalry with John. I'm like, man, get this fool up out of here, man. <laughs> I ain't trying to hear this fool right now. So you know how DC gonna be doing, gonna act with, come on, man. You, I ain't like that. I was like, come on, John. I know y'all probably felt the same. Like, come on, bro. Or if you a DC fan, you like, yeah, I told you. He was taking drugs in all the fights. They all take drugs, man. All of them. <laughs> they, just, they just got the right trainers and stuff and know when to take it, when not to take it, how to make sure you don't get you don't get a positive result on the test. They all doing it, bro. Sorry to break it, sorry to break it to you. That's just the real honesty. But come on, bro. All the fans who came out to support me for UFC 200. Albuquerque uh, police uh. lapel video shows an officer pulled Jones over last week, slapping him with five citations, including for drag racing and exhibition driving. Driver's license, registration, insurance, please turn your car off. UFC fighter John Bones Jones is expected in court tomorrow, the first time he'll make an appearance since APD stopped him for drag racing. All right, come on, bro. You are held to a higher standard, and Mr. Jones has started to fail that probation. It has been a challenge for him. He's been given, this is his third chance. So it seems like a, a, a storm of stuff is coming his way. His career could be in grave, grave danger. Jones has been on probation for about six months. He would serve another year-long suspension. <laughs> During his absence, John had to watch DC, his chief rival, claim the belt right now he he attacks like uh, some of your downfalls right oh, yes yes and he, he public downfall. and yeah they, they they are public but he seems to feast on them is this guy gonna mess this up again by doing steroids or snorting cocaine or sandblasting prostitutes i messed up outside of the octagon i got that taken away from me but the guy's never beating me. In order to be the champion, you have to beat the champion. What he hates the most is the fact that he'll never be remembered because uh, because the fact that I'm alive. If John Jones didn't exist, Daniel Cormier would be the light heavyweight champion and he would be undefeated. The wait is over. John Jones is back for the first time since April of 2016. After a year off, Jones entered the cage with his sights set on ending the rivalry once and for all. I believe I'm going to finish him by uh, submission or TKO. Yeah, that head kick is nasty. It's bad. Leaving no doubt. <laughs> it's bad. It's the best of the oh, best. Oh, ref. Ref. RFD. But oh, that's not RFD.
yes, was sir. back on top of the world. But again, Jones' test samples came back positive for a banned substance. Jones was stripped of his title and suspended. I wonder how much money he's left on the table with, with all these problems, especially with millions, the attention millions, that millions, Connor's millions. brought to the sport. To be accused of steroids, um, people, you go from hero to zero immediately in some people's eyes. Do you think that Jones should be banned now after his second failed test for a banned substance? This time, he'd missed 16 months. And even though USADA has proven uh, that, that there's a reason for those picograms, and picograms gives you zero athletic performance. You don't ever, you've never looked like you. a guy who's on steroids. I believe him, it was accidental. I will consult the bones. The bones tell me nothing. He'd missed 16 months before returning for a match with the Swedish brawler. Have an hour. Look, if you got uh, picograms, bro, that's so, so little, bro. And if you can prove it was accidental by giving them all the supplements you take and they can find out it was accidental, then, bro, you're not going to get banned. You're just going to get suspended, even if you do it multiple times. It's as simple as that. But as soon as you have enough in you to prove performance in hand, like it actually helped you in that fight, then that's a whole different conversation. Whole different conversation. I mean, we're seeing it now with the whole Ryan Garcia issue, right? The Osterine or whatever. I've already been to the top of the mountain and, and faced the dragon. Here's the thing. But it's still like, rematches, come on, bro. It's way better. Yeah. And he come on, man. dudes up in rematches. Mm -hmm. One man will soon be the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion. This is a belt that John Jones defended a record eight times. All right, gentlemen, first round. You best fight. John Jones is back for the first time in 16 months. Jones shook off any rust and devastated the Swede. You just watch Gustafsson. You get the feeling that every time he goes to start something, John Jones intercepts it. Alex just got to get in that boxing range. That's the big difference in this fight has really been the leg kicks. I would imagine this is how Jones would spar with someone that he feels like he can beat comfortably. He took him to the ground and beat him mercilessly. Man, man, man. He's on a man, run right now. Man, That's what I think. Man. I think they took it away from him for man. all those months when he tested positives. Smoke. should have made all the legacy that he could have laid down like I said in the pre-fight interview there's only been one champion since 2011 I'm glad to be a back on my throne Jones had taken back his title after a 16 month layoff You've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Johnny Bones wasted no time in reasserting his dominance over the division. Oh. 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 Body by John Jones. Very nice. Nice. Oh. Oh. Nice spinning back kick again to the body. Oh. God damn it! His throat. Yeah, that got Smith's attention. Seen in his eyes. On a mission to remind the world who the best fighter on the planet truly is. to be and still UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Johnny Bones Jones. John Jones remains light heavyweight champion after easily defeating Anthony Smith. Santos opened with a series of devastating leg kicks. Another calf kick. Chopping at that leg. That was a good kick. Those are devastating. Early in the first round where he kicked his leg out, I was like, oh, this oh, that's a good kick. Interesting. The attacks kept Jones off balance for the first round. Oh, we heard him with that. 
But in the second round, Jones timed the incoming strike and pulled his leg back. Oh, Tiago hurt himself. He hurt himself. Oh, he tore his shit. The he awkward pulled a hamstring miss or something. Caused Santos to tweak his knee. Oh, his knee. Santos, maybe a one legged fighter here. Oh, oh nice kill. Jones pounced. John Jones and Tiago Santos go the distance. He used his own eagerness against him. He's a hell of an opponent. You know, he's undefeated, extremely athletic. He's knocked out almost everyone he's gone against. Total domination, cloaked in controversy and self-destruction, reigning atop his division like no other fighter in history. Jones knows it starts to get ugly here, and he's putting the pressure. John Bones Jones. After defending his title against Dominic Reyes, John chopping away at him. John Bones Jones. Oh, good one, has too. committed to moving up to heavyweight, chasing a challenge worthy of his attention. And still the UFC. Yeah, I mean, he's the best of all time. By far. By but far the best. If he's not the greatest of all time, he's in the conversation. Nobody brings it home like him. Definitely in the conversation. And he did. This video's old, so he definitely moved up to heavyweight, and he did. I think he did what he needed to do in heavyweight. You know what I'm saying? He did what he needed to do, man, to, to try and prove himself at that division. And he looked a lot fucking bigger, too, dog. That shit is crazy. But anyways, that was it. I hope y'all enjoyed that, man. If y'all want a more updated video on John Jones that you want me to react to, let me know in the comments. If you got other board film documentaries from Joseph Vincent, uh, let me know in the comments. Anything else? Let me know in the comments, man. That's it. Make sure to subscribe, man. Uh, tell a friend to tell a friend about the channel, man. We almost had 100K. That's it. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Remember to keep it real. Real is rare. We'll always reach everyone next time. Peace.